Today, I'll be showing you even more ways to make money in Hypixel Skyblock. I haven't really found any other videos showing off these money-making methods, but I'm gonna be honest, I haven't really checked that thoroughly, so I don't know. Am I blatantly farming views on YouTube? Yes, uh, I'm not gonna lie about that. But I'm also getting closer to my goal of having every single dragon armor set. Let's get right into it. So, at the beginning of this video, I was going to be producing solar panels, and I was going to be fueling all of my minions with them. As you can see, solar panels boost minions for 25%, which is the exact same as an enchanted lava bucket. That is the setup I was going with before, but solar panels are actually way cheaper. If three stacks of enchanted quartz per solar panel, as opposed to five stacks of enchanted coal per uh, enchanted lava bucket. However, the solar panel only works during day, so I made a day saver to make sure it's always day on my island. Problem solved, right? Wrong! It turns out the day saver only works when you're online. I would have to be AFKing on my island for 24 hours a day to actually get the full benefit out of this. So, I was going to go back to Enchanted Lava Buckets, but then I started doing math, which is never good. <laughs> it turns out that a more cost-effective way to boost minions is actually Enchanted Charcoal. For the price of one Enchanted Lava Bucket, you can make 400 Enchanted Charcoal. These boost your minion by 5% less, but it's 400 of them. That means, for an Enchanted Lava Bucket to be worth it, you would have had to have used 401 enchanted charcoal. And with each one of these things lasting 36 hours, that's over a year. Um, I don't know if I actually want to do the math on that one, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's 1.64 years, that's over a year and a half. So I did what any rational person would do with that information and I'm back to making enchanted lava buckets. I think that 5% increase and also the convenience of not having to destroy any fuel in a minion honestly makes it worth it. But uh, that's the end of the, the minion segment, I guess. Uh, if you want to make lots of money, just, yeah, I don't know. But now on to the first, like, actual major money-making method. Uh, this, this is a bit risky, but it's not too risky. So if we look under, let's say, Summoning Eye, and then we look at the graph of the price over time, I'm gonna look at the past 24 hours. You can see it's going in basically a sine wave. The price peaks during peak hours, and the price uh, bottoms out when there are the least amount of players online. That's around 1 a.m. and 1 p.m. Uh, in my time zone, which is East Coast US. So basically, you can see that there is a pretty significant uh, price difference between these two. If I go to bed at 1 a.m., I could buy as many summoning eyes as possible. All of my money would be held in summoning eyes. When I come back, log back in at 1 p.m., I sell them all. It's a 5% increase. That might not sound that much, but if you look in the bank, you only get 2% interest every, I believe it's 36 hours. That's a season in Skyblock. I'm getting 5% in 12 hours, so um, if you do the math, I would be getting 15% interest over one season in Skyblock. Now granted, this is a bit more risky than just keeping your money in a bank account. Um, if iPixel decides to release a new update and dragons suddenly become useless, then yeah, the price is going to bottom out and you're going to lose some money. But they always announce when that happens, so it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, this is really similar to uh, just investing in the stock market in real life, rather than keeping all your money in a savings account. The stock market's going to have a higher rate of return, but the savings account is a safer option. Of course, you don't want to put all of your money into uh, assets here, this being like summoning eyes. You want to diversify your portfolio, keep some in the bank, keep some in assets. That way, you have a cushion to fall back on just in case anything does happen. If the price of summoning eyes goes down to like one coin per eye, which is not gonna happen, uh, you would still have a decent amount saved in the bank. Still, if you're only investing half of all your money, your total interest rate is going to be 7.5%, which is still th over three times higher than the bank's interest rate. The second money-making method is uh, a little bit more straightforward. All we're gonna do is go to the auction house, um, and I mean lapis armor for an example this stuff uh, sells super fast and For some reason there's not a lot of it on the bin and there's 
a lot of it in the auction house. What you're going to want to do, go to auction house, go to about to end and then show all. Find the cheapest one, buy it. Um, at most, you should be spending like 150 coins on this stuff. And once you win the auction, you're going to want to sell it on the buy it now, the bin. Lapis Armor regularly sells for its maximum possible price. That's going to be like 5,000 for the helmet or something like that. Thousands of coins. You bought it for hundreds. You're selling it for like 10 times. That's a 10 times profit. It's amazing. So again, uh, just basically go bid on an auction, win an auction, and then just set it up for a buy it now. Basically, as long as you can find something on the auction house that... Um, there isn't any of in the bin and there's a lot of on the actual auction. This is a very easy way to make money. I think Jungle Axe might be another one of these, but I'm not entirely sure. Do research on it before you decide to start making millions of coins doing this method, because you will. Now I'm going to say something that no one has ever said before. I need to buy Protector Dragon Armor. Oh, yep, there we go. I got a full set of protector. We're getting one step closer to every dragon armor. Wow, that hurt. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button down below. Also, um, a large portion of my watch time, that's what that stat means. It's not portion of my viewers. It's portion of watch time is from people who are not subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, you're already spending a decent amount of time watching my videos. Why don't you go down and hit that button? It would greatly help the channel out. On that note, I will see you guys next time. Peace.